Hi, Eddie. Hi. How is it going? Good, man. Great. Again in Belgrade. Four years ago, you won the cup here. A magic city. Huh? I hope we can repeat again. <laughs> yeah, I heard Pablo yesterday was saying, like, uh, Fabi should buy the house <laughs> here. Buy house. Every time you come here, play great. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he should maybe move to play for Partizan or Red Star. <laughs> How is your experience here? Uh, so far, I've been great, man. Uh, I've been enjoying this this tournament so come here to Belgrade it bring a lot of a lot of great memories so I hope so we can repeat again repeat with the guys we, we never won before so it's gonna be great yeah yeah for me as well it's amazing being in my home country yeah. and having such a great event I've been last year in Cologne I've been here last year in Cologne and there was no fans you yeah. were not there yeah. but uh, it was completely different it was strange without fans yeah. and yesterday like Full arena, like yeah, full arena, and uh, Olympiaco fans start singing. So start singing that, in the middle of the game was oh, that, that, that was nice. Yeah, yeah. That was super nice. And then he in Serbia, like one of famous country for like talking about like basketball. So everybody have vix, vix or something. They gotta be great shooter. They gotta be good at basketball. Yeah, man. That I heard once. Lul said that this is the toughest place where he ever played. In yeah. Pioneer, uh, against Red Star or in yeah. Arena in Serbia, is always tough, huh? It's always tough because they, they pressure a lot and the people on, 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 on the stands, like you, 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 can, you can feel them and I just, just, just hear the noise. What is the toughest place where you played in Europe? Like toughest with the, with the supporters? And... I think uh, the toughest one was in Greece when they played against uh, Panathinaikos. When I think we lost by 30. So they, they look like a space jam, they look like flying off the court and people cheering. You can feel, you can feel the floor like shaking. shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I think like, against, against Red Star so it's, it's always tough because it's tough and it's beautiful because you see like a lot of atmosphere and feel atmosphere people and passion, and, passion feel that. and people want to win so bad so they they pressure a lot so that's fun for us and is, is that true that i heard that i don't know because as an actor you know for me like if i do the theater you know and people boo i feel like what the fuck they don't like me but i heard that the players when they do boo on you you feel like okay now i'm is that true? Yeah, yeah it's you true feel that like sometimes. It's true because you enjoy the moment. Like if, when when you make basket or make like a key basket or score like dunk or something, you hear like everybody's quiet or something like that. That so happened they, in, in. They make you like more okay now cheer again. So that's that's fun because you can play with them. Talking a little bit about the games this season, you start destroying uh, Anadolu in Istanbul. You won them like I don't know by by how much. Um, I, I don't remember, we, but we win, I think, by, by 20 or 15 or something like that. But I think they, they always start like that. They always start slow and then middle of the season they start, they start leveling up. So then we know they are a great team. So we, we win, but we know they can, they can, they can be better than... than but Madrid, than. Madrid is like this as well. This season was up and down, up and down, up and down. And yeah, I think well, we start great. And I think we start like winning like 12 or 13 straight. And then after the Cup King, we lost like uh, we got a hard loss against Barcelona so they're getting there mentally because we yeah, mentally everybody was like mentally we was like super focused to to go to win the, the cup king but we, we didn't win like when we lost in, in the last seconds so I think that's 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 our mind uh, go like like this and then like the whole hype go like straight down and it was hard to to uh, to come to come with that rhythm to add the right rhythm we have before so it was hard but uh, I think all those things they help us to to grow and to uh, and to get better I think, I think because of that last uh, yesterday we we come back on the game no 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 but I've been in Granada I've been on the court side yeah. <laughs> and I saw the game from yeah. there and you were you were winning like da 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 and then wow suddenly Something like similar happened yesterday, last night to Barca, yeah. because they were winning yesterday. And that's what I like about basketball, and that's what I like about the big teams, like Madrid, like Barca, like Olympiaco, like all these four teams, they are here in Belgrade. They are big teams, you know. So that's, that's really interesting. And when I saw like uh, beating uh, Maccabi 3-0, I said, okay, Madrid is ready. So... <laughs> yeah, it was ready, but, because, but we know Barcelona have 
probably the best team in Europe right now. Yeah. So you know, nobody can say they are they're not they, they are not the best. So we came here like focus and trying to uh, do every detail like uh, like perfect to, to win the game because every mistake they're gonna make you pay. So so we know that. So we know they can go by 20. We can we can keep fighting, keep uh, keep match up their, their rhythm, so I think that, that help us to, to win the game. I think all, all those losses we, we have against them, I think they help us to, yeah, to that's, learn. That's, that's, the, that, that's what I was saying, you know, like, yeah. if somebody beats you five, six times, you're going to try to you beat them. <laughs> and then, again, this is like a King's Cup. Yeah. Final Four is like one game, it's not like playoffs, because now yeah. you're going to have to play in, in Spain playoffs. But here is one game, so everything can happen, you know. Yeah, tomorrow the, as well, everything can happen, you know. And that's for me, for example, is not really fair, mm -hmm. but that's the that's the competition. That's you the know? competition. Yeah, who, who makes more wins? So I think every time when we get, we, we lost against them, we didn't we didn't make shots. So they make shots, they win. So we didn't make shots, they win. So the, yesterday we make shots, we win. So uh, there's they define uh, the basketball. Basketball is like that. It's not like uh, football. You got a big. <laughs> and then you make defense, and then you make defense. Like you score one goal, and then you make defense uh, yeah, for like, minutes. You put like you put like a buzz on <laughs> on the goal to nobody score a goal. But basketball, if you, don't, if you don't have the day, you're not gonna make any basket. But it's like that. And you feel more nervous last night than today for tomorrow's game. How is this? Because I was more. I knew that yesterday we're gonna decide. Uh, for me, I know who gonna. For, I have a feeling who gonna win tomorrow. You know, <laughs> yesterday I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and you, you were more more nervous yesterday or, or today. Uh, I don't think nervous, but like super excited to okay to to to, to get the, this new challenge because we lost so many times, so we know what we have to do, but we we're not gonna expect them if we, if they make all the shots, we're done. So. I think we came on the third call. Uh, thinking about uh, if we lose, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose with our face up. Uh, we're gonna lose like dead because we give everything we got. Because we know they are a great team. If they get hard, it's, it's super hard to match up. So I think that they they help us a lot. So I think uh, never nothing because I've been here for four times. So I enjoy every time I play. I play the, the the big tournament because I always think I, I say like I was in Cape Verde without know what I'm gonna do with my life. Somebody come in and told me we wanna play basketball. So that's I think that gives me like uh, to appreciate this moment and to try and enjoy it every time. I like that man. You're you I remember when you came to Madrid, you know? Because Kuzmichi got injured, yeah. and then I saw you. When Kuzma got injured, like, oh. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, 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 man. And that's that's life. Me something that's similar life. happened to me, you know. I didn't know what I want to do with my life. Uh, I came to Barcelona and then my agent saw me on the street playing basketball. Ah, what an interesting face, you want to do some commercials and tan 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 and you know. Right, let's so. start going. <laughs> uh, you don't know, you, you never know, you, got, you just got to be ready to get, yeah, you to, have to, be ready. to grab the opportunity. You like, have to be ready. Yeah, you have to be ready. Okay, Eddie, really, really pleasure talking to you. Really pleasure, man. Good luck tomorrow and hope to see you soon. I hope the team will win in your head. Is a, is a <laughs> <laughs>